So Lucky Boy's Confusion is back with their third full-length album that you can purchase in the stores because I know, I believe they've released a full-length that you could probably only get at shows. But um, they're back and it's with an album and it's called Closing Arguments and it has 12 songs. Now I'm going to say I'm very, very, very disappointed in this album. I used to love this band. I mean, they were one of my favorite uh, pop punk Scottish top bands and uh, just to see where they've kind of they, they've kind of fallen off the face of the earth for the past few years or so and uh, I thought they had broken up but I guess they're back with this album and that their sound has definitely changed uh, they used to like have uh, they used to be like a pop punk band but they had ska elements into their music which made them very catchy and very different um, but uh that sound is pretty much gone, and this is a more, it has more of a slower pop rock type of vibe to this album. That's what, at least what I got from listening to this album. And yeah, pretty much the ska elements are pretty much out the window, except for maybe one song called Sidewalk Graves, which uh, has a little bit of a, a ska sound in, in, in that song, a little bit here and there, but for the most part, that's pretty much gone. The pop punk is pretty much gone as well uh with with, with the you hear a little bit here and there in a few songs but uh, i have to say what lo what i loved about this band was their singer and he can still carry a tune his singing is amazing very good pop punk uh, sounding vocals so you should definitely uh check out their other albums and you can hear it along with this album you can hear the great singing but uh let's get to the favorite songs my favorite songs are the hedonist 2 which is the fastest song and it's amazing it's so ridiculous i wish there was a lot more songs that sound like this album it, it definitely has a little bit of pop punk uh a sound to this song and it's it's a fast song it's it's a like an angry uh you know just a fast song with a with a awesome chorus awesome verse it's just an awesome song one of one of actually my favorite lucky boys confusion songs i've heard probably ever so you should definitely check out that song out of any of the songs on this album. Next up is uh, This Town Ain't the Big Enough for Both of Us, and I love this song. It definitely has the pop rock slower sound to it, but the chorus is just so big that it's just you can't help but sing along to this song. And last one is Sidewalk Graves, which I've mentioned before. Uh, it has a little bit of ska sound in it, and it's got a lot of different time changes in the song, which is awesome. Uh, but in the end, this is definitely my least favorite album by Lucky Boy's Confusion. It's just, as an album altogether, it's just not very good. There's just a lot of songs that I just didn't really care for. And I'm sure a lot of Lucky Boy's Confusion fan, fans probably wouldn't care for the, a lot of songs on this album either. In the end, I'm going to give it a 2.5. Uh, it's not horrible, but it's not great. Another suicide Sunday. Another way to go nowhere. Alright, so Friday Night Boys are releasing their first full-length album called Off the Deep End, and they are signed by Fuel by Ramen, and um, not really sure why, but it is what it is. Um, they play a pop-punk, pop-rock sound. Uh, they're pretty similar to two bands like Cute Is What We Aim For, Simple Plan, Cartel, but the only thing is... Those bands do it a lot better. And um, they came out with an EP uh, on Feel by Ramen before this album. And I think it's called Chasing a Rock Star. Or um, I'm not really sure what it's called. It just has a chick drinking out of a cup. But um, hated the EP. Uh, didn't like any of the five songs on it. It was just, I just couldn't get into it. Just It was just too cheesy and, and, and simple and boring and... And uh, with this full length, while it is a little better and a bit of an improvement, still didn't really like this album, and I still really don't like this band all that much. Um, it's just, I mean, there, there's there's some definitely songs that I can listen to on this album, but it's just overall, it's just that the songs are just not there. They're just very boring and somewhat cheesy, and the lyrics are a little bit kind of off. It's just I. Uh, I don't know. It's just I, I couldn't couldn't get into it. It's just like the first five were, were were not bad, and then it just 
the, the, the rest of the seven songs, it just, I couldn't get into it. It's just, they just started to blend in after another, and, and they just didn't go anywhere for me. It's just, I, I couldn't get into it. But on the bright side, there's a song called Suicide Sunday. I really like it. It's really catchy. Um, they just do it really well, that song. It's just, uh, it's just a, a really catchy, really catchy song with a great chorus. Uh, their ending is just the, the dual vocals is just if they had more of that type of stuff in their songs I, I would really enjoy it uh, but it's just there wasn't and that song is definitely the song to check out in my opinion I mean you guys may like other songs or you may even like them but that is the song that I really liked from this album uh, other standouts would be probably stuttering and permanent heartbreak but uh, the I don't know what it is, but uh, I just can't get into these guys. Um, maybe, maybe it's the vocals. Maybe you just—he he does have a, a distinct voice that you either love it or hate it. And me, I'm a little bit leaning on the hating it side, but but it's not full-blown hate. But either way, uh, like I said, it's just couldn't get into it. Uh, and I'm gonna have to give it two stars. Hey guys, what's up? Alexis on Fire is back with their fourth full-length album, and it's called Old Crows, Young Cardinals, and this is their second for Vagrant Records, and let me just start off by saying this album is amazing. I loved it, loved it, loved it. It's so good. Uh, there's 11 songs on this album, kind of like the last album, and for those who don't know, Alexis on Fire are a five-piece band from Canada, and uh, that's awesome in itself. And what's kind of unique and different about them is they have three singers. Uh, they have George, who does the, the screaming. There's Dallas, who does all the uh, beautiful singing. And uh, then there's Wade, who kind of has a mixture between... Uh, he, he's got like a growl, like kind of like he's got like a singing, screamy, yell kind of vibe to his voice, very punk rock-ish sounding uh, tone to his voice. And uh, the first major change uh, people are probably gonna definitely recognize is George's singing, uh, or George's screaming, I should say. It it definitely sounds a little bit different than their than his past previous work. Uh, it, it it's a little it, it's hard to explain, but you'll definitely hear it. And I, I've read that some people don't like it, but I, I personally think it sounds fine. Uh, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think he, it doesn't affect the album in my opinion. It's different, but it's not different enough to make me say, oh, I can't listen to this at all. So let's just get that out of the way. Um, the, the, the music, the guitar work, the everything is just so good on this album. Uh, it, it, this album kind of has, uh, it kind of sounds like Crisis a little bit. It, it Maybe like a, a better version of Crisis, in my opinion, which I loved Crisis too. And uh, God, some of the songs on this album were so so good. It's just some of the best songs I think from Alexis on Fire. But that's just my opinion, and uh, there's always going to be people that love their first album, and that's fine. But I loved some of the songs on this album. Uh, my favorite. Absolute favorite song is, uh, on this album is Born and Raised. It is so good. Uh, this song just basically shows off Dallas's uh, vocal chops on this one. I mean, this guy can sing like no other. I mean, he probably has the best voice in this whole uh, screamo pop punk scene thing going on. But he probably has one of the best voices in music in general. This guy can sing the phone book and it'll sound amazing. But uh, my three favorite songs are Born and Raised, Old Crows, which has the best line, um, We're Not the Kids We Used to Be, Stop Asking For Yesterday, amazing line, and Sons of Privilege, which is awesome. Definitely check this out. It's amazing. If you've never heard of them before, pick this one up. Five stars, ama amazing, and the more I listen to it, the more I like it every time, and it's only going to get better. Five stars. Lexus on fire. <laughs> 